consulting partners. I'm the Orders Beaker and Willow Practice Director. I'm here today with Mallory Powers, one of our Beaker Consultants. Mallory, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. As Lauren said, my name is Mallory Powers. Um, I'm working in Beaker Consulting right now for Nordic. I've been in the Beaker realm for about four years. Worked at Epic, took a little bit of a break to work in Washington um, on some more policy side and meaningful use, and now I'm back doing Beaker Consulting. Nice. How have you seen customers um, try to work through the staffing components of their Beaker install, and what have you seen done successfully there? A lot of times what I've seen is they'll pull members from their labs which can be successful and can mm -hmm. have its struggles. Um, the lab team will then be exceptionally strong in the way, in their knowledge of the way the lab works. And they also function, which can be really great, as a point person. Um, so the lab staff knows them, um, the lab and users know them, a lot of people can know who to communicate with. Um, but they do struggle with if you pull somebody who doesn't understand computers as well, who doesn't pick up on learning new IT terms or new functions, that can be a bit of a struggle that people hit. So making sure that when you're interviewing and when you're looking for staff, that they have both that you know, desire to learn and work in a computer environment, and they're not just going to be focused on, okay, well, I, I know about the lab, so I'm right for this position. Now, you've been involved in is that four full end-to-end -end implementations for <laughs> customers. Um, where are some of the places where, and this is kind of a loaded question since we are, you know, both employees of a consulting company, but I'm curious from your experience, where the biggest kind of bang for your buck um, in using consultants has been in your implementation experience? I think bringing in a consultant takes it so that your analysts or your full-time employees will be trained on Beaker. Your consultant will not just be trained on Beaker. You're, usually your consultant has seen other areas, they're aware of how Beaker integrates with these other areas, which in Beaker training you may not learn. Okay. Um, so I think bringing in a consultant, someone with experience working with other customers in the past or you know, working with Epic in the past knows, okay, these are the struggle points and this is how it integrates. And you may not have seen that in, go, in um, training, but you will see it moving During forward. Your life. Yes. Yeah. So it gives you that knowledge to tap into mm -hmm. and it gives you someone who has additional system knowledge. So they may not have the clinical, but they'll have the system knowledge to help you sort of take your workflows and make sure they work for you or find the build that'll fix an issue or make sure that you're not hitting those same pitfalls that previous customers right. have hit. Are there particular pieces of integration knowledge that are more useful for you know when you are looking at consultants or evaluating your team members that you're trying to bring on? I think for consultants, um, having experience with some of the areas that Beaker heavily works with and then the Beaker experience makes them a great fit. So having the experience with how to set up orders and order transmittal or knowing how interfaces function and how the mapping needs to work and you know the whole bridges set up okay. or knowing the billing aspect, the charging piece, charge router and how charges may drop through once you have Beaker in there. I think bringing in a consultant that has more of a variety of knowledge as opposed to just I've been I've learned Beaker. Beaker. Yeah, it gives you that piece where they can take, they speak the language, mm -hmm. they can talk to the other teams, and they can make sure that you're not just staying Beaker the island, that you're really making sure you're part of the Epic install altogether and the Epic system. Are there different integrated backgrounds that are useful for CP and AP? Because I know that you've done a couple of AP installs as well. I think that AP is probably the most useful to have a billing background if okay. you're going to pick something outside of AP to be trained on. Sure. Um, AP doesn't use a lot of order transmittal, they don't use a lot of order um, customization, Okay. Uh, and they don't do a lot with interfaces. So the big thing that you can hit pitfalls in for AP is billing. 
Um, the other area that would be great to know would be op time. Okay. Um, knowing how this, the surgical workflows work, the navigators that they're hitting, um, how the nurses and physicians interact with that piece of the system would give you a great idea of how, how do I set up this front end to make sure that the, the AP back end works as well. And what about for CP? I think CP can hit a variety of areas. Um, I think orders is a great combination to have. I think billing, either PB, HB, both would be mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, reporting is a great thing to know yeah. for CP. There are tons of reports that the lab utilizes on a daily, weekly, monthly, mm -hmm. quarterly basis. And um, finding someone who knows both Beaker and the reporting structure that goes with Beaker is a fantastic combination to have. And then interfaces. While Beaker is not an interfaced system, there are a lot of interfaces that work with Beaker. So you do still have that whole interfacing out to where you would send your blood work that you don't perform in-house or where you would do devices that may need to interface into your system. So.